Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp Square One where we take a look at the basics of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to take a look at the Scenes window. So scenes are used inside of SketchUp for a couple things. One is SketchUp will allow you to make animations going from scene to scene. Um, second is outputting to layout. So layout actually uses the scenes to define where it's going to create output from what the views look like. And the third is right inside of SketchUp. With scenes, you can actually save your views. So um, there's probably some other things, but those are kind of the three big ones. Uh, today, we're going to take a look at the scenes window and see high level how to actually use it to create scenes. Okay, so I'm here in a model, pretty basic model. I got Sumele, I got a box, I got a cylinder. Um, so we're going to look through, I have a couple scenes created already. I'm in scene number one. So this is what scene one looks like. I got my gray background. Uh, I'm looking at these things from this, this location. Uh, so this is safe. So the nice thing about scenes is if I spin away from this, something like that, I can always click on scene one and it's going to take me right back to it. So that's a big plus, right? Especially when you're, you're new to SketchUp and you want to get back to the same view to work in, save a scene. Um, I have these other, let's look at these other ones real quick. Scene two, you can see jumps to, okay, so I have a white background. The, the style has changed. And I'm also in an isometric view. I'm staring straight at it. So I don't have that perspective that I had on the other view. And let's, let's check out three. Okay, three spinning around to the backside has the gray again, and the cylinder's gone. So it's actually turned off. So we can see how all of these things work right here in the scene window. So here, the scene window is, it's just one of the floating windows on Mac. On Mac, you'll just go to window and make sure scenes is turned on. In windows, it's actually part of the default tab bar. So you just have to expand the scene section of the default tab bar. So you can see each of my scenes is listed both on this bar at the top and then also in the scene windows itself. You can, again, if, if I have more than three, I could actually expand this to, to show if there were more right now, there's just these three. Creating a scene is pretty simple. I hit plus to save a scene. So let's get to, let's get to a different look. Let's, let's close up on Sumele and we'll create a brand new one. So if I hit plus right now, boom, there's scene four. You'll notice that scene four ended up after scene one. If you create a new scene hitting by hitting the plus key, it's going to get put in directly after the scene that you're in. So I was in scene one, so four ended up right here. Well, that's not where I want it. I actually want it at the bottom. So with it highlighted in this list right here, I hit this little down arrow and move scene four to the bottom. See that? So now I have one, two, three, four. If I want to remove a scene, I would just hit minus. We're going to talk about this update scene in a minute. So that's this button right here with little, uh, almost a recycle icon, but more like uh, two arrows chasing themselves around a circle. This is the update scenes, and we're going to come back to that one. So we did talk about moving up, moving down. Um, pretty simple. We have some view options here. What do I want to see? Thumbnails, lists, details. So list is kind of nice. If you have a lot of scenes and you're good about naming them so you know what's in them, uh, list will save space and you can get like, you know, 10, 15, 20 scenes on your screen at once as opposed to with thumbnails, uh, even if they're small thumbnails, you know, taking up more space. Um, so details is the default. That's the one that shows you the icon and then also the name of the scene. Um, so this, this is a helpful view to be in. There's two other things right here. We have a little fly out here to the right that says details. Um, this is going to give me some additional, uh, a lot of the buttons that are on the top are also right here. Um, so this is an option also. The big thing though is this, this button right here. So this show details button is going to drop down a section below. And this right here shows the information that is saved in any given scene. So here, let's go back to scene one. If I want to switch to scene one, by the way, uh, on the tab bar, I can just click once to jump to a scene like I showed before. So I can jump between one and four like that. If I want to jump to scene one here, I can click on it to edit it. But if I want to actually go to it, I just do a double click. So scene one, down here, we have a couple things. One is include an animation. If this is turned on and I export an animation for this job, it's going to include this scene in that output. So pretty simple. Any scenes that are, are turned off, you'll actually see their name will go into brackets like this. Any scene names with brackets around them are not included in the output. So if I ran an animation right now, it would only export scene two, three, and four. We'll do a separate video on exporting animation or creating animation or playing animation in another video. Right now, I'm just gonna leave everything on included in animation. So the scene and the description, 
these are totally user defined. This is whatever you want to call it. So by default, it's going to call it scene and then whatever number you have plus one. So if I create a new scene now, it's going to call it scene five. You can rename it to anything you want. And you can also add a description of anything you want to. Like I said, if we want to go to more condensed view where I see like less information, obviously a good name is going to matter quite a bit. Okay. Now here's the, here's the meat. This is the, this is what it's all about right down here. These are the values, the, the, the things that are included with each scene. So a lot of people, like I said, will save scenes just to, you know, get the camera to a different spot. Like here, scene one and scene four are basically going to alternate moving the camera from one side to the other. But there's so much more that is actually saved with a scene. So camera location, that's that first piece right here, that is saved. Top level hidden geometry. So that means if I come in here and hide geometry, so geometry is loose things like faces or edges. If I hide that geometry and save the scene, it will be saved with that geometry turned off. Hidden objects, that's exactly what I did here in scene three. When I click on scene three, my cylinder disappears because I have a hidden object saved. So saying show or save the, save the state of hidden objects in the scene is what that checkbox is about. Visible tags, I didn't actually tag anything and, and change the visibility, but that's the tags window right here, actually saving the state of that. So if I have a bunch of stuff on one tag and I want to turn it off and save the scene that way, I can do that. Active section planes. Again, we didn't put in sections. This doesn't have everything, but if you do have section planes included in your model, that will get saved also. Styles and shadow. So scene two had a camera setup that was different and it also had a different style. Both those were saved here because I had style and fog turned on also. Shadows, same thing, your shadows on or off, and what's the daylight and date set for that? And then axes location. If the axes moves around, do we want to save that? So what does it look like if we save it without this sort of stuff? So let's let's take this one. Let's take our scene one and turn off camera location. And then I'm going to hit update scene. Update scene says replace what is whatever is in this save scene with what is on this the screen right now so it's not saying um you know make these modifications to the existing scene. it's saying take whatever is here and put it in the scene but here's the information i want to update so in this case i'm going to say update everything except don't bother with camera location and say update now look at look here if i click to scene two scene two includes all the steps including camera location and styles if I click back to scene one, scene one's not going to change the camera location. So if I jump to scene two, all right, now if I jump back to scene one, it's going to update everything except the camera location. See that? So by clicking between these two, I'm changing styles, but not the camera view. So like I said, this can get this, this can blow some minds for some people because some people are so used to scenes being where the camera's at. But scenes are actually so much more than that. So there we go. See scene four, scene one. See how there's no difference between the two? Because all the rest of the settings were exactly the same. And the only thing that made scene one and four different was that camera location. Save your camera location. All right, there we go. Update it. Now I can jump to four, back to one, back to four. And if I want to change my type, my style, right there, change my visibility because I turn the cylinder off. All this information can be saved inside of scenes and you can save it right there just by making sure your boxes are checked in your scenes. So I know some of the concept in scenes can seem a little blurry, especially if you're just starting SketchUp. The thing to remember is that what's on your screen is not necessarily saved into your scenes. What is checked in that box over there, see these, these little guys right here? What's checked here is what's gonna get saved into your scene. So make sure that the boxes are checked for the things you wanna save, and then what is on your screen is what you wanna save, and then create that scene or update it. If you get used to this, you'll, you'll do this a couple times, you'll trip over it, you'll make something weird, and it won't be right enough to go redo it, and that's fine. Update scene's only a click away, so not a big deal. But scenes are, like I said, great for generating output whether that's movies or layout 
Or if you're working in a model where you're jumping around to different views a lot, saving scenes, just even just that camera location can be a huge time saver. So hopefully you like that video. If so, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Most if not all of our content nowadays is created from comments from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.